What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to camera a sewer system. Now this is professional grade plumbing equipment that costs thousands of dollars and chances are most people aren't going to be doing this themselves. But this video is going to be very helpful to anybody getting into the trade or homeowners that are experiencing sewer issues and want to be armed with the knowledge before spending a lot of money on large sewer repairs. If you're going to be doing a camera inspection on your house, you want to begin at a cleanout. A cleanout is an access point to your sewer system. If your house has one, it will likely be close to the exterior of your home or coming out of the wall behind the kitchen. In this case, this house has a couple cleanouts sticking out of the wall right here near the kitchen. So that's where I'm going to start. As soon as I insert the camera into the sewer, I immediately notice that the pipe looks red and crusty on the inside. This tells me that we're in old cast iron. This pipe looks really corroded from the inside. You can see all that rust build up on the screen. Now, even though this pipe is corroding and looks bad, as long as the sewer is still actively flowing, there still may be a little life left in this pipe. What I'm looking for more specifically are noticeable issues that would cause the sewer to back up or leak out. I'm looking for breaks, cracks, blockages, or intrusions, like wet wipes stuck in the pipe or roots growing on the inside. But while we're here looking at the screen, I want to point out a couple of things. The screen of my sea snake has a lot of valuable information on it. It shows me how much degree of slope the pipe has, how far deep we've gone, and it even has locating technology, which I'll show you guys before the end of the video. Coming along here, I haven't noticed any issues that are too significant in the cast iron. But if you pay attention to the screen, we are about to enter a transition into the clay pipe. The clay pipe is very different from the cast iron pipe. The type of issues that we'll look for in the clay are a bit different from what we would look for in the cast also. In the clay, we are looking for separation between pipe and fittings, bellies that may be holding water, and root intrusion, which are sewer pipe's worst enemy. You can see that the clay pipe even looks a lot different than the cast iron. Clay doesn't corrode the way metal pipe corrodes, however, that doesn't mean that the pipe is in perfect condition. Where the cast iron was crusty and corroded, the clay has more of a solid red color all around. Clay pipes are fitted together using mortar, but they aren't exactly the best watertight connection, so it's quite common to see roots growing in from the bell ends of the pipe. In addition to that, clay pipe is very heavy, and over time, as the ground and soil shifts, the clay pipe can begin to sink into the soil and create bellies. Which is another reason why if you have clay pipes, it's not a bad idea to have it replaced with PVC or ABS pipe instead. And while we're on the topic of bellies, let me explain what a belly in the sewer really is. Sewer pipes are not pressurized. The sewage flows out using natural gravity, which is why it's important that you maintain a downward slope when installing sewer pipes. Over time, movement in the ground or lack of proper soil compaction can cause pipes to sag, creating a low point that will hold water in place and disrupt the flow of sewage. Now, you see how the pipe went from solid red to a solid black? We just transitioned from clay to ABS, which means there's a section of the clay pipe that's been replaced. All right guys, check this out. Notice the slope. We're just over 80 feet in and the pipe has a significant drop here. It looks like we're entering the city saddle, but I'm noticing something that doesn't look right. When we drop into the city saddle, we should have no problem passing the camera and seeing steady flow in the city main. But what I'm seeing here is water holding. And as I push my camera in, I'm hitting what seems to be a blockage that I can't get through. I know this isn't a complete blockage because our sewer line isn't backing up. It appears that most of the sewer water is passing through here, but the pipe is partially blocked and not allowing our camera to pass. This connection is also the end of the ABS run that was replaced recently. Now I don't know who installed that ABS, but it appears to me that there may be an issue at their connection to the city saddle. I'm going to have to locate the section and talk to the homeowner about what I found. <laughs> 